Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It is the summer season and what that brings is a new operation when it comes to Enlisted. Usually you have a winter event and a summer event Enlisted and also some other ones which are around the place. This event is going to be called Operation Silent Hunter and it's going to be based around some pretty cool ideas, mainly kind of stealth options and some pretty interesting squads. So uh, the actual event itself is running from the 22nd of July all the way until the 7th of August. It's going to be a simple challenge event where it's going to give you a bunch of different challenges over a two-day period and then it will cycle to the next set of challenges and all you have to do is complete them and if you complete enough of them you will get um, you will get certain things through you know the system you'll get some guns you'll get some squads you'll get some tanks you'll get some profile pictures and all of these different things it goes all the way up to 24 tasks and also if you miss some you can use gold to be able to purchase them if you want at the end of the event so that is something to think about let's get into the rewards so there are a bunch of different things which are on offer when it comes to the different stages of this event. There are 24 stages in general, some of them don't give you anything, but many of them do. At the third stage, you get access to a booster, a 100% booster for two battles. And then at uh, the sixth stage, you get a profile icon of a German saboteur. Then at the eighth, you get a hero gunner. This is a gunner two. And uh, this one is actually Vasily Arkhipov. Um, he is from the Battle of Moscow and is going to be a machine gunner too. It says he's a commander of a machine gun squad who participated in the liberation of a village and had off three German counterattacks. Even when he ran out of ammo, he kept holding the line of defense with his personal Nagant. The hero stats are the highest for his rank, and you can choose his perks, so that's pretty nice. He's going to be super useful, especially in Moscow, where you have some pretty hefty, uh, you have some pretty hefty machine guns. At 10, you get access to three orders of upgrade changes, which are super useful, by the way. Um, especially for squads if the meta changes and certain units become more powerful than others. The BT-7A, the 76mm version of the BT, basically it has a gun from a T-34 uh, on it, or at least uh, the 76 which you find commonly on the T-34 vehicle. Uh, so this is going to be available in the Battle for Stalingrad campaign, and uh, basically it will be assigned to the 645 separate tank battalion for the Soviets. Uh, so if you don't have access to stuff like the T-34 or the KV-1 yet, it will be kind of useful to be able to bring along. At 15, you get a ticket uh, for a special op squad. Now there are two special op squads. There is a British one and also a German one. Um, you can get a ticket for each of them at level 15 and then level 21 of the event. So uh, no matter which one you get, you get to pick which squad you want. If you obviously get both levels, like if you get up to level 21, then you can get both squads. As simple as that. Now these squads, they have three assaulters in them, one engineer and also one AT gunner. So a five-man basically hit squad, uh, which will be really nice. You know, three assaulters is always really good. One engineer is really nice as well. And also one AT gunner is fantastic uh, at the same time. Now, uh, the British squad, um, it is the British Special Squad, uh, squad for Tunisia. And it's the 4th Airborne Division 1st Special Air Service Brigade. It's reconnaissance, sabotage, and the ability to survive the, in the harshest conditions help these fighters in numerous operations from Europe all the way to Egypt, from where the brave British commandos have arrived to help the Allies in Tunisia. These guys will be armed with the Sten Mark IIS. This is a suppressed version of the British SMG, the Sten. Uh, so it's uh, it's pretty cool actually. Um, I I don't mind the Sten in the game. You know it has a pretty big kickback, but I really like its iron sight. 
I wish its uh, clip was a bit bigger, but overall, it's a pretty fun little thing. The Germans get a Invasion of Normandy squad. This is the 277th Infantry Division, 277th Reconnaissance Battalion. These saboteurs are renowned for their crafty improvisation skills and their love for infiltration tactics, seizing the uniforms of enemy soldiers and officers. Their whole squad could pierce through impenetrable enemy defenses to strike right at the heart. Uh, they also have a ton of bushes on them, which kind of look um, hilarious. It's going to be interesting to see how these guys look on the battlefield. These guys have a silenced MP40. Um, so basically the most rare modifications of the German SMG MP40 with a suppressor. So this will actually be super cool, um, which is really nice to see. Also, at the same time, it says, don't forget that firing from a silenced weapon attracts less attention from both players and AI soldiers, so there's less chance they'll discover your position and return fire. Uh, so that's uh, pretty cool. You also get a profile icon at level 18 of it. Uh, this is the British Commando one. So very similar to the German Saboteur, but instead it's, um, you know, just for the British side of things. And then for level 24, you get a gold order for weaponry. So that means you can get one of the Battle Pass weapons. Now, one thing to note about the Battle Pass stuff is they are going to be removing a lot of them, a uh, lot of the weapons and things at the end of this Battle Pass. So if you want to get one, it might be worth trying to get one right now. So the way that you get these rewards is by completing tasks which have to be completed consecutively in the squads mode. Now you get three tasks basically every two days starting from the 22nd of July. So the first set goes from the 22nd to the 24th, the second 24th to 26th and so on and so forth. So the first set is 40 kills with any weapon and a total of 2000 points in the battle and achieve one victory. So that overall is not too bad. I would say a lot of these could be done alongside when you're just generally doing your dailies for the battle pass. So uh, that's what I'm going to use it as. Uh, basically a way of just giving me extra stuff while I'm already doing the grind that I usually do. So I think generally it should be fine. Starting on the 24th, you need 60 kills from an SMG, 30 headshots, place in the top 50% of your team in the battle results. Overall, not too bad. Once again, the headshot one is kind of annoying, but, you know, will get done over time. Uh, from the 26th, you have 60 kills from a machine gun and a total of 4,000 points in a battle, and then achieve two victories. So basically double the first one. Once again, it shouldn't be too bad as long as it is cumulative on the points. The 28th, uh, you have 60 kills as a rifleman, 50 kills as an assaulter, and 40 kills as a sniper. So it's uh, MKB time if you have access to that. And if not, you know, the standard sniper squads can be useful on certain campaigns. Uh, I found them most useful on Normandy on certain maps, so you can take out people who are camping. Starting on the 30th, uh, you have 50 kills while controlling a tank. That shouldn't be too hard. Destroy three enemy vehicles and place in the top 50% of your team in the battle results again. From the 1st of August, you have 30 kills with grenades, 30 kills while fighting for strategic points in the invasion, assault, and confrontation game modes or near the objective in the destruction game mode. I'm pretty sure that means you have to be on the point, and if you kill people while you're on the point, that's fine once again. Place in the top 30% of your team in the battle results, so come top three uh, as well. Then from the 3rd of August, and a total of 40 engineering points, and a series of 10 kills as one soldier without dying. If you are struggling with that, my uh, I would say getting in a tank maybe, um, because technically all those uh, kills go to one soldier, that would probably work, and then also achieve two victories. From the 5th, you have 40 kills from AT guns or AT grenade launchers, 30 melee kills, and place in the top one of your team in the battle results. So that one's going to be kind of annoying, but at the end of the day, it's not terrible. So uh, basically overall, you have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18... Uh, 21, 24 challenges. So in order to get absolutely everything, if you want to get that gold order for weaponry, you have to complete every single challenge when it comes to this. If you just want the squads, you have to complete 21 out of 24 of the challenges. I think this is definitely doable. Uh, most of these challenges 
I just get get number of kills with certain weaponry and um, the only hard one really is 40 kills with AT guns or AT grenade launchers and to be honest we played a bit of Moscow um, when they had the little challenge for tanks and we used the PTRSs and it wasn't actually that bad I thought it would be a lot worse but it only took one battle to get like 20 kills I think it was so yeah at least for me it won't be too too bad but if you don't have access to that weaponry then yeah it might be kind of annoying uh, this event starts tomorrow, uh, so not too much time to set up for it, but at least the first few challenges are not too hard. You'll be able to see all this information in the game as well, uh, which is going to be, you know, super useful, and uh, you can track your progress there as well. And as I said, if you miss anything, well, you can use gold to be able to catch up or get some things that you want. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Nicholas Richardson, Elove Goat, Pyman675, Winter Scientist, Merciless Reaper, Jerry Prevolt, Mega Dino King, Orange Tail, Teddy, John Ryman, Universe, Ambrosius McClellan, Daniel Stanton, Moxie, B. Young, Uncle Bean, Sem Arslan, Derek R., Bereen, Lafouche, and Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.